Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. It's Thursday, Tacticus Day. I'm back on camera. I know you love seeing my beautiful face. So I'm back. We're going to do some Xenos Onslaught. We're at Sector. I have no idea what an L stands for. I'm going to say 50, 60, 67. Sector 67. Sounds about right. We're going up against the Tyranids now. I need to unlock some power. My Imperial forces are pretty weak at the moment. I've over-specialized into the Xenos characters and it's now affecting my main mission. So I need to deal with getting some Chaos characters up the path and also some Imperial creatures going. Let's just get everybody up. I don't particularly want to get eaten by rippers. Ripper swarms are gonna annoy me. There we go, they're already in. They're already killing off stuff. Rough start. I do wish to choose you. Let's bring him up. Why is my screen so far? Let's just do this. We can see what we're doing a bit better. Right. Let's try and get rid these ripper swarms which drive me nuts one of the worst creatures to fight in this game probably gonna lose my tyranid monster not the end of the world just very annoying what happens there guys damn i lost both I knew i'd lose tyranid i was expecting that but to also lose oh i should have used against the Ripper Swarm. Let's bring in the Grots. There we go, they cleared out some. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Now I have some options. Let's put him, drop, yeah, drop him down there. Right, we are on to wave three now. Six waves in total, so we're halfway there. We are. Uh, it's all about the grots in this game. I'll tell you what, I bought the run herder from the very start of this game when I first got it. It was just a great little character, so I worked on building him up. And I don't regret it for a second. He's proven to be so strong, like just popping out grots left, right, and center. It is annoying that the AI decides that they should just run away. Right, we are now on to wave four. There goes my towel. Let's have the orc thread. I love the orc forces in this game. Probably my strongest faction. It's just a shame they haven't got their war machines yet. That's what I really want. I know we got Space Marines are getting their Redemptor Dread soon. Which would be nice and cool to have, but... Give me... Some sort of Orc vehicle. Really want it to be a Grot weapon. Some sort of siege engine that the Grots use. Like the shock attack gun. the ripples they're just everywhere there we go okay oh it's seven waves what made me think there was only six there's seven waves that's a bit more problematic okay. what we will do we move everyone back make it a bit of a longer run and they still hit me we've had my dread Let's bring in the mech boy. He can build his tank. Pop one of those guys. Loving it. I think we're done. This could be the last one. Is that it? Oh no, it's still another wave. I love the grots. The little, little laugh they do when they uh, create a new one. <laughs> love it. 
Okay, here comes the last wave of Tyranids. That one. Oh, it's Tyranid Warrior. Look at that. Right. The Grots have pretty much dealt with everything, which is amazing. Cannot reach him in the corner, though. Right? Which is gonna have to do an old bait and switch, and the little Grots will deal with him. See how we do here. There we go. Done. Victory. Let's have a look. So we got a load of Imperial badges, which was why I was doing that, because I want to upgrade them. He's not going to level up. I really need these legendary orbs. Look how many characters I got that need them. So let's go with him and get seven Eldrad, one orb, and one legendary badge. And that's it. That was Onslaught. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that crap. And I'll catch you next week. Bye bye.